friends, if you are waiting for these beautiful Thieves product line, the hand sanitizer and spray, to come back into stock, I have a little DIY I would like to share with you today to make your own while we wait. I just went to Target and got some travel bottles and I just poured some boiling hot water. I'll finish filling it up here um, to disinfect and sanitize those bottles and I'm gonna swish them around a little bit. I have my whisk in here as well to prepare um, all clean surfaces before we begin. So now I'm gonna take an excellent cleaner uh, our thieves cleaner and I'm going to spray and I'm going to clean our countertop to get ready to go because we want a clean surface. Also, I want to use a really good soap to wash my hands, which I've already done. I've rinsed them off and so my surface is ready, my hands are ready, and my uh, bowl is ready. So I've got a couple of the jars or bottles here already pulled out. So I'm just gonna pull these out um, because now they are ready. I'll pull my whisk out to cool just a bit and the caps and away we go. We are now ready. So let's get started. I have a Pyrex measuring cup, which makes it really easy uh, to use as our uh, mixing station. I went to the liquor store and I purchased 190 proof Everclear, which is 95% alcohol. Now what's funny is people think that if you get some kind of liquor at 70%, that's going to be enough. It's not, and I'll tell you, tell you why. The isopropyl um, alcohol or the vodka alcohol at 70%, when you dilute it, it goes below the standard that is recommended. So when we looked at the World Health Organization recipe, they recommend an isopropyl alcohol at 99%. You can't find that anywhere in town and it's not on Amazon, but at the liquor store, they have Everclear, but make sure it's the hot, the 190 proof one, because that has the 95% alcohol. Because guess what? When we dilute it with our glycerin and um, our oils, then the ratio comes out to 71% alcohol, and we know the regulations is 60%, so we're way ahead of that. So you can get that with your DIY. So let's get going here. I'm going to fill this up, and I'm gonna get down to eye level because we want the proper dilution. And you can see right now, we're at exactly 3 fourths cup. Do you see that? Okay, so now, I just went to um, Sprouts uh, and got this one, but you can order this and you can get it at most uh, health grocery stores. So um, I'm going to take some vegetable glycerin now and I'm going to fill that up to make it one cup. So you can see it filling up here. Okay, and I'm gonna get it eye level. Does it look like it's at the line? Good. Now, here's another mistake people make. They add their oils, but guess what? Oils don't mix with uh, that, so they need a surfactant. So we are going to take our wonderful Thieves Cleaner, and I took a half a cup, or a half a cap full, and guess what? This has the surfactants in it. And then what I did is I added five more drops of the Thieves Oil. And now these natural surfactants will help me mix uh, the oils up into our recipe. I'm going to whisk it. And hey, we are ready now to pour. So all I have to do now is fill up our bottles and we have a wonderful hand sanitizer. Now this can be a fun math and science lesson for your kids. When you're done, you can put a little um, label on it like this or something pretty that you print off on your computer, whatever you want, and give it as gifts to your neighbors, 
Give it as gifts to your delivery people, whoever you want to. Now, the only thing is our, our nice bottles pour out gently. So this one I learned, it comes out really fast, so you only need a little bit. Notice how fast it came out. And you have a nice hand sanitizer at 71% alcohol. Here's to clean hands.